I'm going to create a matching activity in Smart Notebook. So first thing I'll do is come over and in this case, I want two baskets on my page. So I have two places to sort some fruits and vegetables into. There I go. Actually, in order to make them the exact same size, I can duplicate the one I already made. Next, I want to add a label so I know what to put where. those right under my baskets and I'm also going to lock the basket and the text so that they don't move around next I want to find some pictures of fruits and vegetables so that I have something to use for my activity make them a little bit smaller And I could keep going, adding as many as I want. Next, I want to find some pictures of vegetables. Again, I could keep going with as many pictures as I wanted to, but that should be enough to show you the idea. Next, I wanna make this actually interactive. It, it's a perfectly fine activity just how it is right now. You could still drag things around and put them in the baskets and that would be just fine. But we want it to be a little more interactive with a little bit of feedback. So I've come down to add-ons and I clicked on activity builder. Now, if you don't see the activity builder icon right here, you might have to click on the gear and come over to activity builder and make sure it's enabled. In my case, it already is. So then I need to pick my object that's going to become the activity object, click on edit. And now I have to drag over the objects that should be accepted in this basket. So in this case, I wanna drag over the fruit. And then I can also drag over the objects that should be rejected. I'm gonna try just adding all remaining. Perfect, because I've already locked the text and the basket graphics themselves, they don't show up here. If I hadn't remembered to lock them there first, they might also have showed up here and I could always fix that by dragging things I didn't want to the garbage can. Next, I'm gonna click on over to settings. So when the object is accepted, we can choose what happens. In this case, instead of it just fading away, I think I want it to spin and then also play the object's sound. I'm going to have to add some sound to the objects, I guess. And when objects are rejected, they will bounce back. So that works. They'll just end up back where they started. Done. All right. So how do I add sound to these objects? I just click that down arrow, click on sound. All right, I'm gonna record one. Yes, an apple is a fruit, good job. All right, and I guess I could keep going with all the other objects to add those sounds, but I'll just leave it at that. You get the idea. Next, I'm gonna come over to the vegetables basket, click edit, and repeat the same process. So I'm gonna drag over all the vegetables so it knows which, which objects to accept, and then add all the remaining objects, which are the fruits, which it should reject. Again, go to settings, choose what should happen, and done. So I will show you one more time how to do the sound thing. Yep, 
Yes, carrots are a vegetable. All right. I'm going to make sure to save and then let's try it. Yes, an apple is a fruit. Good job. Awesome. Now let's see what happens if I put the carrots and the fruits. It just pops back down here. Perfect. But if we put it in the right basket. Yes, carrots are a vegetable. Awesome. It works. Now, when you've played the activity once, you probably want to be able to play it again. You could just close your file and make sure you don't save the changes. And then when you open it back up next time, it'll be ready to go again. You can also hit reset all right here in the activity builder menu to put everything back so you can play again. So there you go. Interactive matching activities in Smart Notebook.